John here, guys, and today we're talking about the Firefly X4K camera. Now, this is the X Lite, which means that it's set up exactly like you would expect to see a naked GoPro camera. But in order to get a naked GoPro, you got to buy a $250 or $400 GoPro, strip it naked, hope that you don't break it. And if you don't break it, then you go fly that fragile thing around and hope that you don't smash your $400 and hours and hours of stress slicing it open. Um, this gives you a shortcut all the way to the end. This is gonna be a uh, form factor that looks exactly like a naked GoPro. It powers off of a connector that you can either power directly from your quad or you can power through the balance connector of your battery and uh, records in 4K. Now, the interesting part is this, I flew on the Baby Hawk HD a three and a half inch quad you know this is kind of the thing that you're going to want to fly or anything smaller and you're going to want to have the weight savings of having this low weight camera well the camera quality of this of course is not going to be on par with a gopro but it's pretty good it's decent but here's the thing that i don't like the way that you have to use this is it fits in a little sleeve mount thing that has a gopro mount at the bottom then you have to use a cable like this one. This one goes to the balance lead of your battery and has a USB-C that plugs in here and now you get power. Then you have to kind of like wind it around because there's so much extra wire. It makes me think of that character on Star Wars with the thing going around his neck. It's a little wonky. I mean, I was constantly afraid I was gonna chop these wires I put some tape around them to at least keep the wires a little more closer together. That's not my favorite solution. You can power it directly from your quad. They have a little thing that will power from five volt that you can use as well. It has two buttons, one to power up, the other one's for record, so that's pretty straightforward right there. The thing is, I weighed this with the mounts, with the cable, and it comes out to 46 grams. Well, this thing right here, the Runcam 5 4K, is only 56 grams. So for 10 grams more, you can get pretty similar picture. In You can also get an internal battery so you don't have to mess with these cables and i'm thinking this is encased in a little bit sturdier of a case so you probably don't have to worry about smashing it as much now this case for the weight is actually a little bit sturdier than i would have thought i mean there is some protection here and it has a nice little um hood around the lens so you know small crashes you're going to be okay but this is easily sturdier this is 109 bucks this is about 140 bucks so they're both good inexpensive options but for a little bit less money and only sacrificing 10 grams of weight i think most instances i'm just going to stick with this thing i mean this quad could easily carry an extra 10 grams compared to this it's not going to feel super great on either one. I don't know if the naked GoPro options are lighter than this, but 46 grams total. See, the thing is, the camera by itself is pretty light, you know, if, especially if we take the lens hood off. It's, it's like less than 30 grams, right? It seems very, very attractive. But once you start adding all this other stuff, uh, but the price point's good, 140 bucks. So you can decide whether the image quality is worth it for you. I think that the workflow to use it though is a little bit clunky. And if I had my rathers, I would probably go with the Peanuts uh, or the Insta360 Go 2. Um, but those both cost twice as much or for a little bit less money, I'd go with something like this that only weighs 10 grams more. What do you think in the comments, guys? What action cams are you using? Uh, for people that really, that, that 10 grams is gonna make a difference for, like this is a nice option. Uh, I think that the image quality is pretty similar. I mean, some people may prefer one or the other, but uh, I couldn't tell a drastic difference between them. So what do you guys think in the comments? What are you guys using for action camera? Uh, my main camera for this year for full size stuff is still gonna be the Hero 9. I sold my Insta360 GO 2 um, because I really thought this was going to take the place of it, but it doesn't offer as light of a setup as I would have thought. 46 grams is a little bit heavy. It looks light, but it's not as light as it looks. So, thanks guys.